Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, <coughs> today we're off on another rocket sized adventure. And what we're going to do is go to the top of this um, slag heap and cook a stealthy meal. Um, so to put it down as a successful, we've got to climb up there, which is an achievement in itself. I'll go on that in a minute. Cook a stealthy meal. Uh, we've got a phone call off Steve coming in. We're going to have a look at another little stealth camper that I'll be watch. And um, we're going to answer a question out of a book. Um, I'll flash up at the bottom of the screen what the question will be. I don't know yet. I'll choose it at random when we get up there. So that might be interesting. Might be a bad idea. I don't know yet. Have to let me know. So, anyway, what we're going to do. Is film some little b-roll about the area so you know what we're looking at then you can come back I'll show you that now then you can come back when we're all the way up there catch you in a minute Where's your bike? the Huntington pit mound near Cannock Staffordshire is a testament to the area's rich coal mining history originally linked to the Littleton colliery by a tramway this site featured two conical tipping mounds Following the Aberfan disaster in 1966, one mound was lowered and landscaped. After the colliery's closure in 1993, the remaining spoil heap was reclaimed, leading to the creation of Littleton Leisure Park by 1998. Now owned by Huntington Parish Council, this 26-acre park features winding wheels at its entrances and offers scenic views from the summit. The surrounding area has been extensively reclaimed and redeveloped, blending history with modern community amenities like Littleton Green and Huntington Village Green, ensuring the legacy of the mining community lives on. Anyway, I've hopefully got some of that B-roll and um, I'll do a little intro and I've recorded it with a AI voice. So let me know what you think of that. I've tried doing intros before, but it's me talking and I do struggle. So, um, but I don't think the sound quite right with the computer voice. It feels like a bit of a cop out. So let me know, should I keep on with the AI voice or should I do it myself? So as I said, I've had this place on my tick list for quite a few years. It's always been here, I've lived in the area. But I've never got round to it. As I started getting a bit more time on my hands and that. But all oh, this will be a nice place to visit. But the trouble is I've had a dodgy hip now for oh, 15 plus years. And I've been to the doctors about it and said, oh just come and visit us when you can't walk anymore, then we'll sort it out. Well you can get it so bad. Constantly sore, couldn't walk very far and all the rest of it. I was happy to see um, a thing on YouTube about chiropractic adjustment. I thought, oh, I wonder. So, went to the went to him, and yet, yeah, your hips out of alignment. Here's your bomb, this, that, and the other. Um, give me a few exercises, cracked on my back, and I've been, had about six appointments so far. And I've been pain free now for about five weeks. It's absolutely amazing. So anybody, just don't take your doctor's word for it. I would go for a specialist, cost a little bit of money, but it wasn't a stupid amount, but it made a hell of a difference to me, so all good. So we're testing it by walking up this big hill. There it goes. Anyway, um, it's quite steep, but they've zigzagged the path, so it comes up this way and switch back, that's the word I was looking for, switch back and carries on up so it's not too bad I wouldn't fancy going up in a wheelchair or something though but um, already out of breath, that's a bad sign isn't it old age creeps up on you anyway, catch you in a minute I think this must be the halfway point look at that lovely flat grassland if you're brave, really brave, you can maybe camp there. 
there sure could be people weren't going to come up I'm halfway but I'm out of breath and knackered so it's not so much survival Sam it's more like a knackered Ken oh well keep on prodding yes they're as steep as they look ah, I have some bright ideas mate Nearly there. One would be hand to be in the bugger to carry that flag to the top. Oh, look at that. That's a view. Yeah, that's something else, isn't it? I didn't know. I didn't know if we'd get a view or what we were high up but on Google Earth there seemed to be an awful lot of trees so I didn't know if you get to see over them but yeah that's good right, let's get this rucksack out Stafford, six miles at uh, that direction. Castle Wing, we've been there. That's that that's that um high peak over there. Canuck, 3.2 miles. Yeah, you can't see any of that, that's all right. That's all right, that is, that's north that way. There's Pi Green Tower, we've done a couple of camps up there, haven't we? That's all right, it's a beautiful view. Could you imagine being here bonfire night, November the 5th, or New Year's Eve? see fireworks going off for miles around that'd be a hell of a crowd I don't think you can camp up here though would you get numpties coming up here after dark I don't know I mean there's flat ground be a bit windy I'll give it a go when I'm feeling a bit braver. That over there is where the pit used to be, Littleton Pit. And that was one of the last ones to close down around here. So this whole area was coal mining and all this. Uh... Anyway, I've earned me dinner. Yes, it's a little bit, a um, little bit too windy for the flying camera. It's quite a little toy ball myself. It's not actually a drone. You don't control it. You don't need a license insurance. You've got about five, six different modes: hover, bird, hover, rotate, and all that stuff. So I thought it'd be really good up here. But the orbital one, that was fantastic. Of course, even though there's very little wind, there's enough wind to throw it off. So. We don't want to lose it, it's not my first day of playing, so we'll stick to that later. Anyway, let's get some dinner on the go. Let's see if you can guess what we're having buns, cheese, onion. We're not having cheese and onion back, no, no, not mushrooms, egg, the lovely burger. 
So we're having a burger, but slight difference. We're going to cook it in the style of top, top stealth camper and stealth cooker squib. It uses tin foil. But more of that on a minute. Let's get on with the preparation. I then think we hadn't bought the little gas stove that we have. Beauty, these are way next to nothing. It doesn't look right anyway. I really can, I've had these since I've been about 12 years old, something like that. So, it's certainly good last. Get the onions. We have bought black bags with this for our waste. And and if you see any waste we'll pick that up as well. Do a bit. Set the windshield up a bit. Stop that. Help you cook a bit better. Oh, well, it's the first time I've had that. Rearranged on the ground. See how we do now. Yeah, look at that. Well, that's it. I've kid have cooked so many meals on that. Must have just got past the heating point. Oh well, lesson learned. Yeah, that sounds better, doesn't it? Nice big dollop of cheese. I've took the mushrooms and the onions out, they're coming a bit too well done. I'll come back to them in a minute. Right, where's that book? Book questions while Sad's cooking. Here we go. I've got I've got this idea from. I was watching some YouTube, it wasn't a stealth camp or anybody like that. And he done it. I thought, oh that's a good way to get to know people and know what they're thinking and all the rest of it. So I need my phone, switch on mobile data, and there's, we need a random number between 1 between 1 and 291. So I'll get Google to do that. Okay. 
there's no cell cell coverage here <laughs> oh well um 69 nice let's have a look at that nice. let's turn this over first I think at the start I should have flashed the question up so you should already know. 69, 69, everybody likes 69. If you knew that devoting yourself to an all consuming occupation, music, writing, acting, business, politics, or medicine for 20 years would, would make you one of the best in the world at it, would you? If so, which would you choose? Probably not. Um, I tend to have a mantra in a lot of things that I do, and it's that is that'll do. That's enough. There's no point coming the best at, at many many things, especially somebody my intelligence level. You just got to get get on with life and the crust. But if you can guarantee it, will I be the best at it? I don't know. I'm not a super competitive guy. I've never been on. So the a racing driver, anything like that. Um, quite often when I'm playing games, I don't want to win. I want to enjoy playing the game. And as a kid, um, and a young adult, and all that stuff, you are playing games, and some people get so competitive and spoil the game. I wanted to play the game to experience and all that kind of stuff. And um, it wasn't Dungeons and Dragons, it was like Dungeons and Dragons, it was Games Workshop version. That. And I just liked being the uh, Games Master. Because you could guide the party on the rest of it, there's no winners and losers. It was the group against whatever obstacles you threw out and whatever monsters, whatever quest and the rest of it. And that was great fun. So would I want to be the best at any particular thing? Nah, I just want to be good at something. Enough to pay the bills, enough to enjoy life. So you've, become, you've got to become that laser focused, you miss out on the rest of life and all the rest of it. So that one's a no for me. Shit. I've got to get me some proper cooking utensils. Or at least I'll do it in the wind. So, um, well, I do like improving myself and getting better. I've got no problem with that. And everything that I do, I'll, today I said I need to get things. I'll go back over this and I go, oh, I need a two camera setup would be really nice. I have got a second camera, but I've lost the battery since it's been that long. So and get some new cooking utensils, that'd be an improvement. That's something I've always done. It's, um, I remember some time ago somebody asked me for my mobile number and I couldn't remember it and I ummed and ahed and I'm trying to find it. I don't know where it's stood on the phone and then I'm getting pissed off and I'll get to it later. And I went on that and thought, oh, I, need, I can't afford to do that again. I thought, do I memorise this number? There's only so much that's going on up here, especially since I've had a stroke and I don't remember things. So I'll just write it down on the back of a business card and put it inside the phone and whenever anybody asks for me, oh there you are, there's my number. People do ask. And one person said, I went, oh you are so clever. And I went, not really, I just had a problem and I've read up a solution to it. That's not being clever, that's just working things out. And that's good enough. That'll do. That's all you need. You don't need to keep polishing, keep polishing and keep polishing. Just be good enough. And if you're number one, people are always trying to knock you off your perch. Yeah, I don't know. Right. Let's try that again. This time. I'll try holding it. Oh, 
see sure, yeah. That one's dope. Dope you fall off. pretty much done so we'll take this off let it cool down for a moment I brought me fucking egg oh, no egg ow You could almost go and see that was going to happen, couldn't you? Oh, well. See, if I was trying to be number one, number one cell camper and all the rest of it, I'd be sweating and panicking over that. My only thing I'm thinking is, oh well, it'd be better if it was on the second camera. We're not getting exactly what we want, but we're getting somewhere near. Big block of cheese. About on there, and then. This is where the squib bit comes in. We wrap it all in tin foil. And that way it warms everything back up and uh, melts the cheese a little bit, it comes really, really nice. Hello, Steve. Hello, mate. You all right? Yeah, Put your speaker on. You have camping at the moment. Go, oh, cooking. Yeah, yeah, cooking. Are you keeping right? Good, good. Now I'm on top of um, a slag, slag it. No, not that kind of slag. Uh, did a bit of failed cooking, but it's getting there. No, it's a good burger. Yeah. It's melting the cheese now. I think it's going to be nice. So, what you've been up to? New job. That's brilliant. Well done. I don't see your phone in sick, why? Well, I suppose anybody can have a day off if they want. Right, your boss wasn't happy. Yeah, it's only understanding. Yeah? Yeah, he only wants to know why you were sick on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's a better question. You told him it was your weakened immune system. Okay, okay, yeah, let you go. Yeah, baby's falling. Okay, I'll see you soon, mate. Take care. What a guy. Number one. Number one cell camera. Now, Steve would ask that question. He's got to be number one. Very competitive guy. Right. This should be done, hopefully. So we'll get this off. Put that up there. And cool down. Get that on, get some water on the go. Just let that cook in its own juices for a minute. We've got the water off for a cup of coffee. Um, while we just wait for that to go down and give a little shout out to Urban Rats, my mate. Fantastic cell camper. Show you a little clip of him now. Yeah. I think that'd be better with a bit of music. What do you think? Became super rat. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Yeah, loves his kung fu, Urban. Um, camps in some weird and wonderful places. The three guys I'll give a shout out to this week. Urban Rats, he's links in the bottom. Steve the Transit Camper, 
mentioned now where he is always mentioned him. He's linked in the bottom as well. And um, Squib, he's from America, um, near Pennsylvania, I think. Just north of New York or somewhere, like I don't really know. Um, well, anything about USA really. Very nice bloke, very nice, very good self camper, and top of all, very good cook. What well, cook? Go and give him a check. Let's open this up anyway. How's that look to you? Is it edible? It's going to be eaten anyway, so. Without scolding myself. Let's have coffee. Improvise. Adapt and overcome. There we go. Let that cool down for a minute while we have a tidy up. Clean up everyone. Let's pick up our things. Clean up. Everybody clean up. Clean up. Well, there we go. We left the area better than we found it. Picked up all the rubbish. Unfortunately, I dropped the egg. We mopped up what we could with what kitchen towel we got. And then um, wash the rest of it by a bit of water. So we'll finish our coffee and we'll head on back home. Now, if we complete their challenge today, a task, a pocket sized adventure. Well, we climbed the hill, a bit out of breath, and we got here. So, improvement to be made there. We filmed the B roll, which I think we found interesting to start and you probably let me know whether it's any good or not or whether you prefer me talking or the AI we've cooked the, um, the burger, the cheeseburger, the squib burger in times like these you realise how good squibbies are cooking in the outdoors, Mine, well, it wasn't a file, it was edible but it wasn't pretty which sums up my life, really. Good enough. <laughs> um, what else have we done? We found Steve, had a bit of a laugh with him. We'll give a shout out to my mate Urban Rats. I like, I, I, I like poking Steve and I like poking Urban with a stick, as in taking the mickey a little bit and I take the mickey back. It, it makes some good banter. So make sure you give those guys a watch. Me other secret. Secret challenge was to get 10 new subscribers from this video, just 10. So, if you watch it this far and you haven't subscribed, it was subscribe that you know, give me a nice bonus. And to get 20 likes on this video, a lot of people watch your videos, they move on to the next one. Just give us a like, everybody likes to be liked. Uh, here I am sitting at the top of a hill. No, be like <laughs> if you like it, like it. If you don't, don't. Don't worry about it. I certainly won't lose any sleep. Because I've had a good walk today and nice food. So anyway, time to finish the coffee. Then back home. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. 